Dogwoods might officially be coming to Quick Match. Let's begin. Welcome back to another episode, guys. So last week we got the new Season 26 Essence 1 with the new S tier skin for Magician called Hill Pigeon, a fancy skin indeed, if you disregard all of the issues with it. Then we have the A tier skin for Antiquarian called Crow and the A tier skin for Hermit Peregrine. I have seen a couple of people with the Crow skin. I haven't really played against any Hermits recently, so I haven't really seen anyone using the Peregrine skin. In the store, we got a special package that contained inspiration clues, temporary unlock cards, and more rewards. And as part of the celebration for the Team Doll 5 winning, we also got the return of some skins that they used during the Koa tournament. Only the ones that are not exclusive, of course. You'll be able to see them on the screen right now. They also included the skin Million Dollar Mermaid for Nyad and Antiquarian skin Perseverance that are available at a discount. So the other skins are at full price, but these two skins are at a discount for a limited period of time. And they also brought back the repairman skin for wildling very interesting not really sure why they brought this one back specifically but it's a good skin nonetheless as i was just saying they're celebrating the fact that double five set won the koa six tournament so they have the koa six championship celebration event where you can congratulate the team double five and you can learn a little bit more about the players you can see a picture of them in the game it's really cool and re-watch the finals if you want to every day from 6 p.m to 10 p.m players will receive 20 percent more logic points i'm assuming this is going to be until the next patch so if you play during those times, that's really good. You can grind some extra stuff. If you complete missions, you can experience the championship lineup and claim clues, costume remnants, and even more rewards. And if you really, really like the team, you can purchase the champion portrait for 100 clues. A minor change they added to the game as well that is actually quite big for some people is they increased the limit for how many match recordings you can have. Originally, it was apparently 50 that you could save. Now it's 200. 100. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. What's coming out this week? Let's have a look. Let's talk about the things that are confirmed to be coming out this week. We are getting two character days, first of all. We're getting the character day for Undead on the 18th. This is going to be his second character day, I believe. And the character day for Gamekeeper. This is going to be like his third or his fourth character day already. Kind of crazy. It's going to definitely be his fourth, maybe even more. I'm not really sure. We're also getting the end of the Kamati Moon Part 2 crossover although we are getting part three coming up in June I believe so we don't have to wait too long to be able to get these skins back again it is a good crossover and these skins are really worth getting if you really want to spend some money in the game we're also getting not exactly in the game but relevant to the game on May 20th we're getting a special event or an announcement on uh, YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that from Netties themselves it's during the Netties Connect event according to the leaks they're going to reveal the new crossover Angels of Death supposed to be coming at the end of this month possibly it's going to be the next essence that we get so they're going to probably reveal some skins that are going to come out for that and what's going to happen during this event so they've kept it pretty much under wraps for such a long time they're also going to talk about what's coming for the rest of 2023 so that might also include some gameplay of the new survivor or something else maybe the ashes of memory part 2 kind of teaser video or something like that because we've already seen some art for it maybe they'll show us a little bit what's going to go what's going to happen but i'm not really sure another thing that we might possibly Possibly be getting this week. Not completely sure as they haven't confirmed it. It could be this week, it could be next week. Well, we might be getting Mechanics Ivory Tower skin. So this one is called Angled Edge. It's just a nice ivory tower skin, you know, 60 echoes to buy it. It's not really too special, nothing kind of crazy. It's not bad to have. Let's talk about what's coming from the future. I'm not really sure if any of these changes are going to be added to the game this week. It's possible that the one that I'm about to talk about might be coming this week, could be coming in future weeks, unsure. So Netis has revealed on the China Weibo account that there are some Dark Woods optimizations coming. This Dark Woods map is one that we got during the time of reunion event when Nightmare and Little Girl were released. It was very riddled with problems. The map itself very, very beautiful, very, very cool, but it wasn't really balanced and it was never really added to quick match and definitely was not added to rank match. So I think they're trying to fix that up, make it so it's actually a playable map. In my opinion, that's fantastic. I like the map indeed. Some of the optimizations that they're adding and possibly still add some more. Change the brightness of the map so it's going to be brighter. That was a big complaint for mobile players. And they're going to change up the atmosphere. So I'm not really sure if that's just going to get rid of some of the misty effects or something or make it just brighter overall. I'm not sure. They've also optimized the performance of the map so that people's mobile phones and computers will be able to play on this map a little bit easier. They've added some physical changes. As I understand, I try to understand the translation because it's all in Chinese. I think they've moved the basement that's in the middle of the map in that kind of 
of cornered off fenced area in the middle, the square. I think that basement has now been moved near the river somewhere. They haven't really said where, but it's near the river somewhere. That does mean that the two basement spawns are now in completely different positions. One of them is in the gamekeeper's shack now, and the other one's going to be the opposite corner of the map. They've also removed this slowdown effect of going into that green river. So if you fell into it before, you'd be kind of slowed down by, I can't remember how much it was, like 2%, 4%, something like that. And they've completely removed that now. Another feature of that map is is the ropes that you can swing on. They've completely readjusted how these work now. Survivors will now swing faster when on these ropes and hunters won't use energy when swinging on these ropes. Problem was that this kind of the big tree area was very, very loopable for some survivors. You could just infinitely do that. So they've made it so that survivors can get across a little bit faster because they're going to nerf it a little bit more for survivors. I'm about to talk about that. But hunters can now infinitely use it because survivors will consume all of their energy when swinging on that rope. So that means that they can only use it once every 30 seconds. It says they will have their cooldown of 30 seconds. You won't be able to loop this area as much. You can still do the drop down and then keep on going, but you won't be able to swap between dropping down and swinging, dropping down and swinging. You'll have to wait much, much longer. Hunters, on the other hand, will be able to do this and deal with multiple survivors that are going different directions, for example. Another change to the swing is that if survivors or hunters are interrupted in the swinging animation, that means they're kind of half way through their swing and they get stunned or something. I don't really know how that would work. Well, they will now teleport to the start or the end of the rope swing. Also sad to see, but they've removed those traps that are around the maps. The traps would reveal whoever stepped on them. If it was a hunter, it would reveal them. If they were a survivor, they'd also be revealed. And if you play gamekeeper, those traps would actually become your gamekeeper traps and would trap survivors. So that's not going to be a feature of the map at all. I do understand that from a gameplay perspective, but I really like those little touches in the game that made it feel more like it was Gamekeeper's Forest, you know? But okay, fair enough. Something else they mentioned after they mentioned the Dark Woods optimization is they're adding a new setting for quick chat. Unsure what they mean by quick chat. I'm not sure if they mean the messages that pop up. Quick chat new setting. When turned on, players can now see the bubble of teammates speaking faster. And this is enabled by default now in the settings. So you can turn it off if you want to. Does this mean that you'll be able to send your quick match messages a little bit faster? I'm not really sure how that works or maybe it's just something that the China server has and we don't have it anyway I don't really know what it is at all they've also revealed to us a small event that should be coming in the future this is something that I think we've had in previous years before but I don't really remember too much about it because it was only a tiny mini event that they gave us I can't even remember when it was we're getting the 520 gamer love day or game love day I'm not really sure how it's translated and during this event there's as far as I know probably going to be one major reward and maybe some clues and fragments they have really announced that but if you complete missions you'll be able to receive a special portrait called ghost ideas or that's how it's translated from the Chinese very very interesting indeed not really sure when this is coming but fair enough it's a small reward and it looks like a nice portrait if you like little girl as far as I can tell is who's in that portrait as we're getting changes to dark woods and they're getting the removal of these traps maybe you're wondering why I called it gamekeepers shack well you should check out the video that's on the screen right now because that's going to give you tons of easter eggs for dark woods 